Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. Welcome back to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. I'm Mrs. 3D, and today we have the pleasure of reading Dinner on the Moon, written by Jordan Reed. In this book, we are introduced to a boy who has dinner with his friends. However, that dinner doesn't take place in the dining room. Let's see what fun he has on the moon. Make sure you grab your copy if you have it. Get ready to read with me in three, two, one. Dinner on the Moon, written by Jordan Reed. Tonight we're having dinner on the moon. We're going to be late if we don't leave soon. Just Teddy and Dino and Bunny and I are taking a rocket ship up to the sky. I gather my shoes, I gather my jacket, I gather my blanket and picnic basket. When it's time to take off, Dino holds my hand. We fly up so high, we can see all the land. It gets very bright as we pass by the stars. We're zipping so fast, I think we just passed Mars. Then suddenly, our spaceship starts going down. Everyone, it's time to land. Teddy sounds. We land on the moon and I grab a big piece. I put it in my mouth and it tastes like cheese. I cannot believe that the moon is cheesy. It's ooey and gooey and oh so creamy. We're unpacking our basket and setting everything up. Unloading our chairs, blankets, plates and cups. With turkey, potatoes, corn, peas, and much more. We created a feast, we have food galore. Teddy stands up and makes his voice big and heard. Sit down, he tells us all, dinner is served. I rush over and sit down just where I should. I munch and I smack, all this food tastes so good. When we finish our meal, Bunny shouts, oh no! The sun's coming out, it's time for us to go. I race to the spaceship, a moon piece in my hand. I have to hurry home as fast as I can. As the spaceship speeds down, a big crash is heard. Oh no, oh no, we have been hit by a bird. The engine stops running, our spaceship breaks down. We use our parachutes to get to the ground. After a great while, we all land safe and sound. The house is very dark and silence surrounds. We have to be quiet. Everyone's asleep. We tiptoe down the hall and don't make a peep. I crawl into my bed and quickly lie down. A few minutes later, I hear stepping sounds. My mommy walks in to wake me up for school. I tell her about how the night was so cool. That's such an exciting dream, my mommy tells me. You've had an amazing adventure, I see. I say, it's not made up, though that's how it seems. It was not a dream, no, it was not a dream. What a cute story. What do you think the moon tastes like? I hope you enjoyed today's book and will join me again next week. Before you go, make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. But most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time, bye.